assess that performance by your side today? Well, I think um, I think the first thing is the English <coughs> the English team. You know, they played really well today and put us under a lot of pressure, particularly at the start of the match. Um, what that looked like is we conceded a lot of penalties, or we, we conceded penalties in the set piece around around the scrum, and then that obviously gave them access to our to our 22. And then then the then the team has to work really hard to defend our line. So. Um, you have to take your hat off, you know. Uh, the pressure game was far superior and something that we, we struggled in that first half. Um, and then we we came, <laughs> we got a bit freaked out, really, and uh, tried to push a few passes and try to push our rugby, try to make it happen against a very good defence, English defence. And, uh, you know, I thought, I thought they played well for the whole 80. Uh, the English reserves came on and continued that. Uh, defensive pressure and um, and that put us under that put us under the pump really. Um, it was very hard for, for us to get our game going. I, I guess from our point of view, is <clears throat> at, at times we were able to showcase our rugby and when we can um, create a little bit of momentum, then our, our team can be very dangerous. And I guess just then it's just a numbers game where we didn't do that enough uh, in a test match that was you know a big game for our boys. Well, um, when I was playing rugby, you used to give a tie and a pin to the ref. Um, so the Japanese uh, side, we've decided uh, it's something that we present to our players as the player of the day, and we thought it would be quite a nice gesture to present that to the captain of our opposing team. And we, so that's become a bit of a tradition since in the last couple of years since I've been coaching the team, and uh, it's been really appreciated basically because it's a little bit unique, a little bit different, and it's. It's got the it's got the game and the you know, special memento for the captain. That's pretty much it, really. Um, it's better than a tie and a pin. <laughs> Jamie, how do you see where, where you are at the moment? You can see the, like you say, the, the yeah. You make it yeah. Oh, look, look, I, 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 uh, like in terms of who we played today, it was a very good English side, and you know they were obviously in the back of a loss last week and. Uh, they were very. They were obviously hurt um, from losing to Argentina, uh, Argentina and, and Twickenham. I was here at the game, and um, so you know, we we always knew that there was going to be something coming, and we just we felt that we prepared really well for that. Um, but you, you, a lot of the guys actually haven't been to London, let alone Twickenham. Um, so that's a new experience for us. They hold us in good stead going forward because uh, we obviously play England next year in the World Cup. That won't be our first time. Um, so in terms of assessing where we are as a team, um, well, we've got we've, we've got a wide range. We've got some really experienced players, the likes of Michael, who's um, played a lot of rugby and been a few World Cups. And then we've got the likes of Warner, who's you know just turned 20 and he's a lock and he's playing in the biggest stadium against some of the, the best players in the world. And so I think if you look at those two those two players as a contrast, that's that's pretty much where we are at the moment. So they played, each of them played 40 minutes and 40 minutes, or what sort of um, thinking? Well, I just, th I just thought that they put a lot of pressure on Yamasawa and, um, and you know, we we're obviously down you know, by quite a few points in that first half and getting another getting another team that, um, back into the game that wasn't affected with confidence, then I thought that might be able to help the team. Um, both guys are very good rugby players, and as you know, we've played uh, Shushin started Shushin um, the majority of the test matches this year already so it's always quite a difficult selection either way and we have confidence and trust in both those guys to being able to do the job and, uh, but when we adjust the game we just felt that Lee um, might be might be better in that second half So we're playing against England next year in the World Cup and a big crowd in Florida, a big crowd in Europe so what do you think we need to improve on for the next, next year or so? Well, I, I guess really we, it all starts back at the set piece, and you know, so um, it's, there's no sort of magic conversation or they can fix the set piece. Or um, we're playing a very good and experienced uh, forward pack uh, that put us under a lot of pressure. Um, 
and we, we need to be able to deal with that in every test match that we play against. Last week when we played the All Blacks, we dealt with it good, and this week we didn't. You know, so, and when you don't, it's very, very hard to get into the game and, and create you know, uh, opportunities for your own side. And so I think that's probably the most important thing. And, and, and really, it's, it's always been the most important um, part of our game is getting, getting our set-piece sorted and getting our defence sorted. Half of it was good. Well, I thought we contested in the line-outs well and, you know, stole a lot of ball off England and we stopped them all. Um, uh, except that last one where we conceded the yellow, try, uh, the yellow card and, and the penalty try. So there's lots of positives in, in there. But again, you know, we were coming up against some big and powerful and pretty experienced four packs, and that's where we've got to take our game. I think, <clears throat> I think the atmosphere in the stadium is exhilarating, and I think it really helps the game, obviously, and it helped our players a lot. I mean, we prepared in some ways around um, showing the players what it was like, and some players have been here, obviously, before and, and shared their experiences. Um, but Twickenham's not a place to be scared of. It's a it's a place to be, to embrace. It's a you know it's a traditional um, one of the best stadiums that I've ever played at or, or coached at. And it's because you're not playing 15, you're playing 80 80,000 plus 15 guys. You know, so that that sort of atmosphere, um, as I say, is exhilarating. And it's awesome for a rugby player and a rugby team to experience. It's also it's also awesome for the English, you know. So they're playing at home in front of their crowd, and and whilst it lifts our team, it obviously lifts it lifts the home team. And uh, we we got a lesson today, and that and and, we, and now we understand what that's like. Um, but it won't be like that in, in in France because there'll be a neutral crowd. I'm hoping.